Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today's is going to be a really exciting one. I have been looking forward to today all week because there's a few things happening. First thing I want to mention is uh, my nail. This happened at about 6.30 a.m. and um, wasn't exactly how I planned to start my day off. I actually just put the deposit down to get my house fixed and on top of that I'm going to be doing my kitchen renovation. So it's happening within a week of you guys seeing this vlog. I'm very, very, very excited. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. I'm gonna be doing a lot of kitchen renovation vlogs. Um, I'm also gonna get a fireplace built, not right now, but that is in the works. And then I decided today, I think I'm going to turn my office into a custom closet. It just makes the most sense for the space. So today I need to do some shopping. I'm gonna pick out a new faucet, a new sink. Um, I need to pick out the quartz that I want for sure. I also need to go to the mall because I need to get a few things from Sephora. I need to get a new Nespresso machine. We will talk about that later. And um, potentially new sneakers. And I just keep thinking about it. Finally, something exciting, guys. I haven't left my house really in days. My dad had to come to my house this morning and I was like, whoa, a person. This is crazy. The next week is actually going to be really busy. But I've just been, you know, stuck on repeat. I'm stuck on repeat in my house which is obviously the norm, but sometimes I'm good with that and other times I feel like I'm like losing my mind. Right now, I'm losing my mind. We're heading to look at faucets, guys. So fun, but I need your help. I need you guys to give me all of your opinions. I will have probably picked something up by then, but I need you guys to give me all of your opinions. So we're going. Woo, I'm so excited. You have no idea, guys. I'm ready to go. This is where I'm going, guys. Here I am. I have to act like I know what I'm talking about. I'm actually really good at that. You'd be shocked. Eventually, I want to redo the bathroom. This, I like the best. I don't think I want it this color, but this is my vibe. Okay, well, that was pretty boring. We are at Floor and Decor Design Studio, and I forgot my mask. How do I still do this, guys? Like I was saying, this is the exciting part because this is where my countertops are. Very excited. This is for another project, but this right here is like my dream for a bathroom. That's what that marble, like, you can't even really see. That's my dream. Okay, so I don't love these. This is all they have at the store. Gotta figure that out. I mean, this is the most similar, but it still isn't what I want exactly. Hmm. I like this one more, but I wish it was like a bit darker. These are more custom, so obviously more expensive. I even kind of like this one too. All right, so I wasn't amazed by anything there. I think I'm actually going to just run my other errands and then look online more so and see what I can find. Oh my gosh. This isn't my like forever home. First off, I'm actually really hungry even though I just had avocado toast. Okay, so what I was saying was this isn't my forever home so I'm not trying to get like the most expensive and also I think in my forever home it's actually gonna look very different than what I'm doing now and a lot more personalized but I'm also like I'm also keeping in mind like selling the place not super soon or anything like that but, but with that being said I didn't love the quartz that I saw and I've seen a lot of quartz stuff online that I actually really like quartz is pretty much the most inexpensive um, like material we are heading to North Park I need to get a new Nespresso I need to get new makeup stuff and I need to get potentially new shoes and honestly Starbucks because I got this new tea the other day in my last vlog and it was so good so I need to get it again also it feels so good today I mean it's cold yes but it's warm enough to where I can like roll my windows down and blast music as I drive and as we know that's like my favorite my favorite thing ever wow if you know you know great song okay so I just have a few things I need to pick up at North Park which is my favorite mall um I need to look at shoes too just because I feel like I need a new, good, kind of everyday shoe. I basically wear the same shoes every single day, either my Uggs or my Sam Elliman boots, so I want to figure out something else. And then I need to go to Sephora and pick up a few things that I've been wanting to try. Already, no look at Nordstrom. The only shoes I liked were Dior, so uh, that's going to be a hard pass, unfortunately. Okay, off to Sephora I go. I got some things at Sephora. I'm actually very excited to try some of these. Here I go. Also, Sav literally just texted me. She wants a Starbucks breakfast burrito. And here I am, or breakfast sandwich, I mean. Got my Starbucks drink. This is the order. They bring it up a little bit different than they did last time, but I showed them a photo of my old order because I was confused. So if you guys need the order, you can screenshot it. It's so good though. 
It's also great for just like a midday pick-me-up, which is really what I'm needing right now, you know? You know, while I'm here, I guess I should go to Aritzia. Well, they just saw me filming. Oh wait, Lulu. Okay, so now we're truly at my favorite store in the mall, Williams-Sonoma. Here we go. Oh my god, literally so beautiful. I want this, but I don't need this, you know? I get asked all the time where these are from. William Sonoma. These are the mugs that I use. This is closed, but the top is supposed to be matte. That's what I want. The matte black of this mug is beautiful. Literally beautiful. Okay, well, I got a mug for my mom. That's cute. But no coffee maker. They didn't have the all black matte. We'll talk later. Guys, how did I forget that there's actually an espresso store here? So, we're gonna go in and stop real quick and see if they have it. I think it's just a cafe. I can't remember. Remember, I'm redoing my kitchen right now, so... I need everything to be black matte. I'm just being a little bit crazy, you know? No, I get it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Okay, well, first off, they're really cute there, but they're all out of black matte. Black matte. Oh my gosh. The guy there was so nice, though. He's so funny. A pretty unsuccessful shopping trip, and I need to get my nail fixed, but I don't really feel like going... I don't know. Should I just go? I really blocked off most of just the rest of today to shopping because I just needed to get a lot of shopping done for the house and whatnot. They don't have it since I'm redoing my kitchen. Yes, I am being a little bit crazy, but also I want pretty much everything that's going to be on my counters to be like matte black or just black in general. So I really want the new Nespresso. And honestly, I, I need to upgrade for my Keurig coffee, even though I personally love my Keurig coffee. I don't like the Nespresso that I have, so I've been needing to do this anyways for a long time. So we'll figure it out. This tea is just so good. I didn't have it at William Sonoma, and then it was sold out at Nespresso themselves. So I'm gonna order it online and then I didn't really find shoes that I liked besides these Dior ones So obviously that will not be happening. I don't know. I think it's gonna be a successful online shopping day So that's what we're going to do also now that I've fully committed to pretty much committed fully to a closet room where my office is the room itself is just not good for an office space But it will be good for a custom closet. Um, I'm just so excited like I need to see everything I'll also dress a lot cuter because I'm just a very visual person so having it all out in my custom closet room will really make the biggest difference all right i'm now in knox henderson i think i just am trying to shop for no reason i am looking for a new white sectional so i'm gonna shop around for a little bit just look at new things i'm having such a good just like day date to myself you know guys why did i grab my sephora bag like i'm at a totally different place I don't know why I did that. Knox Henderson is one of my favorite areas. We are, oh my gosh, they have actually made so much progress. That's crazy. We're getting one of the very nice, as you can see, restoration hardwares with like a restaurant and everything. This is so exciting. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe how much progress they've made. I was, rec I was here like a month ago. It's really impressive. Okay, I'm gonna stop at Crate and Barrel um, just to look, cause I know there's one couch here that I love. It's definitely, um, obviously, just Crate and Barrel is a pricier store. I like this chair. It's very cozy. Very cute. Also, love these chairs. All right, I went to two stores and I was just very unimpressed. So I decided I'm going home because I'm not even going to buy a couch right now. That is something that's probably going to have to happen sooner rather than later. Actually, oh my gosh, I just cannot believe. How good the Restoration Harbor looks, guys. I'm so excited, you have no idea. I'm heading home. It's like once you leave your house, you just can't go back, you know what I mean? They called me and they're starting, this light is so hideous, but they called me and they're starting on this tomorrow, which is very, very good news. I'm actually going to a cabin next week for like two days, so. Hi dude, what's up? Hi, hi, hi. Okay, it's time for a haul. The mug that I got, I think I showed you guys in the store, I can't remember. Um, but this is just so my mom, so I had to pick it up for her. I stopped in Sephora I picked up quite a few things. The first one is this Becca zero So this is no pigment virtual foundation anytime. It's like a no makeup makeup type product I have to try it out. So I'm really excited I will hopefully do a review in this vlog and let you guys know how I like it. Oh, yeah I have my perfect bar. I forgot to eat that. This is my sample. I'm excited. It's flower bomb. Um, I'm just excited to have that in my purse. I had to obviously get the Sephora Best Skin Ever. Everyone has been talking about this foundation. I needed one that was darker for when I self tan. They, I wanted to get the brush too that they recommend that comes with it. They were out, so I decided to just pick up the Sephora brush for foundation. It's just the 64. I really like Rare Beauty, so I got a little sample of the Always an Optimist Illuminating Primer. 
I love illuminating primers and I last thing I got was the Dior Addict Lip Glow. I've been hearing so many good things about Dior's lip products. They didn't have the lip oil that everyone is raving about, so I'm gonna have to order that online. Yeah, wow. Okay, from the viewfinder, I actually really like it and it's very moisturizing. I still wanna get the lip glow really bad, so that is still in the plans. Just gonna take all the boxes. But this Becca thing, I'm literally so excited for this, I cannot even wait. And also, like, look at how cool the packaging is on this. That just looks incredible. I'm pretty sure it's just something that, like, blurs your skin. Oh, this is really a weird consistency. How? It's like a jelly. We will see. Oh. Huh. Well, I cannot wait to try this and give a nice little review because this is right up my alley if it's something that I really like. I'm going to try to take everything out because if not... And just end up with more trash in my bathroom. But I think I'm going to do a lot of online shopping. I'm going to try a new recipe. I'm also filming this week of what I eat in a week video. So, side note. I made a little turkey chili yesterday for lunch. Very good. Um, or not even for lunch, but I'm going to have that today. It's just one of those things I normally cook once, eat three times. But tonight, I'm going to make these taco things that I'm really excited for. So, I will take you guys along. On Monday, we rented a studio to shoot the next two months of content for the living room. So that's what I'm doing on Monday. I just want to see. Okay, well, that's way too much. Okay, well, that is, like, obviously not what I'm trying to do, but... Honestly, the coverage is, like, really good, though. Like, look at that. Wow. I'm actually very impressed. Wow. That's very impressive. Okay. Well, I'm going to heat up some lunch, some of my leftover healthy... Um, turkey chili with white beans. If you guys want the recipe, I posted an Instagram reel about it. Oh, by the way, literally Wednesday, and I've already read two books this week. So I will show you because they were so good. One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Taylor Jenkins Reid has been one of my favorite authors of this year. I've already read three of her books, but so good. I cannot recommend this enough. It made me sob. It's also Kindle Unlimited, which is convenient. It just really, it's one of those books where within the first 10 minutes, I just knew I was gonna finish the entire book in one sitting, it was so good. And then of course I read Girl With No Job. I read this in a day as well. Really, really, really good. Also love the conversation about cancel culture. Felt like she honestly did a really great job. I really, really enjoyed that book. I've been looking forward to it for a while. If you guys are ever wondering what I'm reading with my friend Sydney, we're reading Back to the Gospel. Um, we read two chapters a week and then recap it, but. Now I'm looking for a new book. I really want to read Nine Days. Um, that looks so good. One of Us is Lying is, this some, is another one and then another Taylor Jenkins read. So I have to just decide. This is the Nespresso that I'm getting. You guys saw it before, but I just ordered it. It looks so nice. Just me in the haunted house. Comment below what um, Nespresso pods are your favorite. I'm going back to the life, okay? I'm not, I'm going to sell my other Nespresso. And I don't think I'm going to fully get rid of my Keurig because, like, just in case, guys. We don't know, okay? Maybe I'll need the Keurig in my closet or something, you know? Um, so I'm going to keep that, I think, somewhere. Just not out. Like, I'll put it in my pantry or something. Just made myself a glass of kombucha. This is Better Booch. I'm actually really liking it. I have Sex in the City on. I'm re-watching it in honor of the reboot. And I just started on my tacos. So right now I'm just browning the meat and then I have like a lot of seasonings. Those are not even all the ones that I'm using. I'm using a recipe from Half Baked Harvest, which I'm excited for because she's actually gonna come on the podcast. So that's exciting. I couldn't help but wonder. Good morning guys, I just woke up. I'm going to get my nail fixed this morning, thank God. I'm gonna try out my new Becca product. This is the Becca Zero that I got yesterday and I talked about. It's a no pigment virtual foundation. Interesting. It's just clear, like I don't know. Am I not doing this right? It's supposed to just like blur out your skin, which I've had products that do that and are incredible. Um, But the consistency is pretty thick. It's a thick gel. Um, And I just put on my skincare or my skincare tends to get, my skin tends to get red until my skincare kind of calms down. So maybe that's why it's still red. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I think I'll have to give it some time and look up a review and make sure I'm doing this right. I like how it kind of like mattifies, so I'm going to do like that. I don't know. So I'm going to go take the dogs on a little walk and then get back. Um, the guys are going to be here around 8, so in a bit. Um, and I think they're starting on the drywall somehow, which will be exciting, guys. This is all coming together just quite perfectly in my life, if I do say so myself. 
All right, I just worked out. The lighting is very harsh, so let's go over here. <sighs> okay, so I just worked out. Obviously, this is through a workout, so to test this is not really fair. I feel like my skin is really soft. This isn't a fair test because I put it on for a workout. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet. Anyways, it is 12 3 30, and I'm going to shower and then go get my nail fixed, and then I have therapy, and then I have a lot of work to do. I showered. I am tired right now. <laughs> like, very, very tired. I just put on a little bit of my little Dior um, lip glow. I would describe these as a very sheen lip gloss. They're pretty moisturizing. I like it. I'm gonna try these two new products. The first one being the Rare Beauty Primer, which I've heard great things about. I don't even know why I'm bothering with primer because I'm not really doing makeup today. I just wanna try this really simple foundation. I am quite the primer girl. Comment below if you're a primer girl. Not even, I mean, I never wear eyeshadow, but like for your face. I like the Becca primers. Here we go with the Sephora Best Skin Ever. I'm very excited. I've heard amazing things about this. I didn't get the, oh, well, I shouldn't have done two pumps. Wow, great coverage, honestly. I actually really like it so far. I'm also going to start dermaplaning my face again. I did that for a second and then I stopped and Keaton's been doing it and so I need to do it again. Basically, it shaves your face. I think they actually get here today or they get here tomorrow. I really like the color. I feel like it actually matches like my body well when I'm fake tan, not naturally. <laughs> Let's not get out of ourselves here. Oh, this is a really, really pretty, like every day. Let me see if the lighting can get a little better this way. I just feel like it's a really natural, pretty, like every day kind of foundation. I really, really like it, guys. Like this is, this is good. I really like it. I'll link it below because it's literally only $20. Like, that's so good. I want to try it with one pump just because I'm more of like a one pump sort of gal if I can get away with it. I need to get my eyebrows done, but I'm like literally so afraid to get my eyebrows done now with, again, Keaton's horror story. Such a sad day for her, it really was. So I'm like afraid. And I always go, literally, I go to like random places. I always go to my nail salon, but I get random people. And I never want anything crazy. I always just want um, them trimmed up a little bit, just cleaned up. This is all I'm going to do for my makeup look today. I really like this product. So now I need to make coffee because I'm so tired. Oh my gosh. I am on my way to get some Starbucks because I just need like the real deal. I can't do cured coffee today. I need actual energy. Sometimes after I do like my whole morning routine, so I go on a, like, a walk, I do my morning Devo, I work out, I shower, I get ready, I get dressed. I'm ready to go to bed after that, okay? And I need to get a few things done today. So I'm going to get some Starbucks. I need the real deal. And a lot of you guys are probably cringing saying like Starbucks is not the real deal of coffee. I more so just mean like the coffee, my coffee level. I'm also wearing a very like Cameron Diaz in the holiday like outfit, which is always my vibe. Question, where you guys live, what do you consider cold? This morning, 32 degrees, so cold, okay? To me, like I feel like 20s is kind of, you know, really doing something there. But like for you guys, what's cold? I have a good podcast rec, guys. Also, this is my skin. Beautiful Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. Love. I know a lot of people did like paid deals with them. This is not paid. I feel like I need to say that. I love Sibling Revelry. Kate and Oliver Hudson. Hudson is like all I aspire to be. She owns like multiple, multiple brands. I mean, she owns like multiple brands. One of them being, I think she co-founded um, Fabletics, but whoa, it's bright. She's just great. Great gal. Thank you. Have a good day. Too. What a great treat. I, I know this sounds annoying, but if you're a black coffee drinker, you will understand that when you drink black coffee, it becomes pretty hard to drink really sugary drinks. And in the holidays, I just get on like a sugary drink kick, right? Even like a drink like this just sounds kind of gross. But during the holidays, I got hooked, right? And then I went back to like kind of more of my healthy ways. And, and then after the holidays, it just sounded like too much. But today, I was in the mood. So I, and it's like one of those things that when I'm craving it, I have to just do it. Finally, it is fixed. Ah, oh, okay. All right, guys. So I'm back home. Nail is fixed. So exciting. I just finished therapy, so if it looks like I just cried, it's because I did. Um, I did FaceTime therapy. I'm just staying home because we have people working at my house all day. My plan was to like maybe go work out like outside of a coffee shop or something today because I need to finish the plans for the living room for the next two months. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of studying and just planning all that stuff out because we're shooting on Monday 
in studio. Dom is basically moving back with me for who knows how long. We never have actual life plans. Um, she's like my makeshift roommate. And then we have one girl who works for me and we're just gonna be um, shooting all that content. By the way, um, if you guys don't know who the living room is, I feel like if you watch my vlogs, you know, so I'm sorry if it sounds annoying. It's a faith-based Patreon. If you guys are interested in any faith-based content, we have different tiers. So it's anywhere from $1.99 to $10 a month. I think it's worth it. We are working so hard to make the content so much better too. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I just door dashed myself some velvet taco because I'm emotionally drained after that session. I feel like if you are in therapy, you'll probably understand this, but it's the days that I don't feel like I have that much to talk about sometimes that are like really the most, that I feel like I actually sometimes will get the most out of, maybe because I'm like emotionally in a good place, but also, I don't know. This is a really good session though. If you guys are looking for a sign to go to therapy, this is it. Exciting things are happening, guys. One, it's really hot in my house right now. I just finished a lot of the planning. I think I'm like having a hot flash. I'm not even kidding this. It's also 30 degrees outside, so. Liquid IV always, guys, I drink liquid IV. I literally have like four packs a day, I think. I actually crave them, like they're so good. You guys, um, I do have a discount, so I'll have it in the description below. So worth it. Oh, also, I got new sunglasses on Amazon. These were like $10. Let's see if I like them. I think with my hair done, maybe they could be cool. I don't know, I don't know. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm about to do something very exciting, guys. My face just has not gone down today from my therapy session like six hours ago. I'm hoping that I'm not alone in this. Let me, I get a lip liner, then I never sharpen it and I lose my sharpeners. I ordered a new one. My favorite lip liner ever is Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. Look guys, wow. I know that this is such a simple task, but for some reason, the second I need to sharpen a lip pencil, which is very rare, my sharpener goes missing. This right here, feels like I just got a brand new lip pencil. This is my Thursday night. Here we are. I ordered a smoothie from Smoothie King. I had a lot of DoorDash credits, so these were all free today. If you guys wanna use my DoorDash code, you guys can use it down below and you guys also get free food and delivery. I got a smoothie. So, I don't love that I ate out today so much because it doesn't really make me feel that great. That's why I got the smoothie, because Smoothie King always makes me feel so good. It's my favorite. This is actually the, what is it? I always forget exactly what it is. Let me look at my Instagram. I actually did a deal with them for an Instagram reel, the coolest deal of my life, but I get this smoothie. I get this smoothie all the time now. I've gotten it probably like 10 times. This is how I figure things out. It's like the banana potassium smoothie or something. As you guys already know, I'm actually drinking the banana passion fruit smoothie, which is the new addition. There we go, I was close guys. So good. I've gotten so many of my friends and family members just hooked on this smoothie. But I also have just like not been eating enough greens this week. I don't know. Anyways, as I'm wearing a really cozy, obviously really fashionable outfit, I'm gonna read. I literally, guys, I wake up. You would think I'd be over this. I'm on my 12th book of 2021 on January 28th. You would think I'd be over it, but here's the thing. I literally wake up and I'm thinking about how excited I am to go to bed at seven and read. Like it is 626 right now, and I'm so excited to like go to bed and read. What's gonna happen in like a post-pandemic life? It's gonna really take for my reading time. I can't even imagine having a social life because when would I read? Good morning, happy Friday guys. It's pretty early, I'm actually getting straight to work because I have some things midday. Hello, Coco, do you wanna come sit with me? Guys, I'm considering getting them like the farmer's dog or something. I just did the thing online. I know that's really pricey. Fitz definitely has food sensitivities and he has really dry skin and I think that that might help him. Also, it's like one of my few expenses for them and I want them to live long life. So if you guys do anything with the farmer's dog, let me know. I'm really interested in trying it. Ant life. Sophie drew me this right here. I just woke up this morning and I'm just thinking of ways to like make Morgan Wallen my friend because I just feel like we're supposed to be friends. You know what I mean? Anyways, I'm just getting some work done right now. Um, at 10.30, Fitz has training. Hopefully I can get him into the groomers. We'll see. I also have to go pick up a camera that's kind of like far away and then clean my whole house. Oh, but the guy's coming for courts in like an hour. Um. He just sent me these three photos and brought some um, tiles over, but I think I'm going, oh, it's 50-50 right now. I think between these two, I know they're super similar, but the bottom one is pulling more gray. This one 
is just softer and this is pulling more cool tones so i think this is a little bit warmer and then this is pulling more cool tones i'm between the two i'm leaning towards this one but i'm not sure honestly i also like how this is not too crazy but then you look at this one and i like how it's pulling darker as well so i'm having a hard <laughs> All right guys, exciting stuff. One, I'm out of the house, crazy. Just picked up my camera rental for Monday for shooting for the living room so the content's just better. Got a mic, got a lens, got a camera. I am like so emo today, literally for no reason. Like I'm not sad about anything, but everything makes me emotional. But like listening to people who like release books and whatever, I'm like crying because I'm happy for them. Like I, I really need to calm down. I did get fit on the list to get groomed today. I gave Coco a bath from home, but I'm not giving him not giving Fitz baths from home. He also needs a haircut. Coco doesn't. Is that in about an hour? I think I might actually go to the grocery store. I'm running very mom-like errands right now. I'm about to go get my car wash. Off to the car wash. I downloaded another book. I'm bringing my Kindle. I really am a mother at this point, guys. I'm a mother. Like the TikTok, you know? Here I am in the car wash, guys. How fun. Wow. It always feels like you got a new car after you get your car washed. And my car's not even like dirty. I just haven't gotten a wash in a long time. Mask on. Wow, feels like I have a new car. Now we're off to Trader Joe's. I just made a mini list. I'm only picking up a few things for this weekend. Oh, you know what? Dom's Mayfair release. Dom gets here tomorrow, by the way. Dom's Mayfair release is this weekend and I should probably make her her favorite meal. So I'll get, um, ingredients for that as well it's like the best soup ever it's a tortellini kale one that like everyone loves wearing makeup for over like two hours feels like way too much got my groceries also dom and i both love these the barbecue popped ridges from trader joe's are so good Club. yeah i like this coming out there perfectly Does this right here have to come out this? Well, I guess, yeah, it does. Yeah. It can't, so yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. My Nespresso has arrived. This is gonna look so much better on my counter and obviously make better coffee. Wow, guys. This is what I got. Um, I don't think, I don't know if setting it up is worth it. Yeah, maybe it is. Maybe I'll set it up later today or tomorrow morning. I'm so excited. Oh, also, these are the pods I got. Comment below which pods I need to get. Oh, I also got these so that I can dermaplane my skin tonight. Fitz looks so cute. Like the camera, here's the thing. He is so much cuter in person and I'm not just saying this, I'm just being honest. Um, he looks beautiful. When I saw you Fitz, I thought you were a different dog for a second because I told them to do like a half cut, which is basically like half of his length, obviously. And Fitz, you look so handsome. I cannot believe how handsome you look. I mean, Fitz, that's not polite. Just so handsome. And look, your IV marks, the way they shaved your legs down for the IV, that's almost gone. So you, sir, look ravishing. He's completely wiped out. Coco was sleeping. I took a nice bath. I feel like since COVID, everyone is becoming a bath person. I just want to say, I've always been a bath person. I was thinking about this today. And whenever I would say that to people, people like thought back then, back then, I mean like two years ago, I thought baths were gross. And now they're like the latest crave. craze. Why do I always say crave? I'm drinking a La Cologne latte. Yes, it is 4 p.m. Am I going to regret this later? Hopefully not. We'll see, but I need to edit and I just cannot focus right now. Here we go. So sweet downstairs. They're playing like worship. They're playing um, worship music, but it's Spanish. And I know all the songs. And so I went down there and I was talking to them. And it was just such a cute little, it was just such a cute little bonding moment. They're literally like the nicest, cutest people ever. We are dermaplaning today. I have only done this once and then King keeps swearing by it. So I'm like, okay, I'll do it again. I just ordered these off Amazon. I have an oil on my skin, by the way. I don't think I did that last time. But it shaves your skin, which honestly I need. So I feel like my makeup has been going on really weird lately. I don't even know if this is doing anything. Oh, it is! Okay, now I see it. 
In my next vlog, I'll update you guys in the morning when I do my makeup and just see how big of a difference I notice. You guys are like not gonna be able to tell the difference, but I'm gonna start on this side. All right, guys, I'm going to end off today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tomorrow, Dom arrives. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys have seen this already. By the time this vlog goes up, we're probably like a day or two away from the kitchen reveal on Instagram. So be sure to follow me over there. But I love you guys so much and I hope you guys enjoyed this little like week in my life. I do feel like in our generation, everything revolves around alcohol though. And that's something that I feel like I struggle with as well because I am really passionate about health and wellness and I know how it affects me in a negative way and I do feel pressured sometimes that I can't say no like oh I don't want to get a drink at dinner with my friends because I don't want people to say stuff like I know my friends would be so supportive and they wouldn't make me feel bad about it.